Hey, Mom. Where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but Mom, don't we owe it to Grandpa to... Yeah, I know. It's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then... I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah. Bye. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. All right. Let's do this. I have always loved the British countryside. Maps. Lots of maps. I'm sure some of these are worth keeping, but I'm not going to sit down and sort through them right now. Oh! Grandpa's old travel diary. Seems like a few pages are missing. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. Aw, it's a picture of us. Grandpa, you sweet old bastard. It's Grandpa on one of his expeditions. He sure was adventurous. This must be from Grandma and Grandpa's wedding. I'm only here to pick up my stuff, but maybe I'll grab this later. I don't feel like reading up on kings, countries, or history right now. A desk drawer. An open desk drawer. A desk drawer. A desk drawer. It's locked. It's locked. sure did like his books. Yeah, enough of that. Oh man, my old A station. I spent hours playing games on this thing. Hey, Mr. Piggles. Damn, the adapter's missing. Probably for the best. I wouldn't get anything done today if I started playing. A tape recorder. Hello. This is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. So if anyone else is listening, they can start off immediately, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means, well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. I, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother, but there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. 
I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it, it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help. But I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Goodbye, Grandpa. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. I am not taking this with me right now. A typewriter. The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. There's no one to play, and I'm not sure I even know the proper rules. Nuh-uh. I've watched too many movies to go about stealing ancient relics. Hiking by train, I'm leaving by train. going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. Oh, okay. These can be pushed. That doesn't seem to be it. looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace? Whoa! Whoa. Serious whoa. Nah, I can find my way back to the train station without it. This will be perfect for my next sail across the Seven Seas, but I'll leave it where it is for now. That's a really nice... binocular. <laughs> Monocular? Um... Huh. This tin box looks fairly old, and has a combination lock on it.
My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck give her? Was that it? Did I do it? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's happening? No, 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 no! That was the first time I traveled by magic. Pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner, so we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Instead, I went on his adventure, the one that never was. But that is a longer story, for another time.